Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hype me up. Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Daisy Hannah, and as you can tell by the title, we are celebrating love, friendships, ourselves. We are getting ready for Valentine's Day. Okay, I'm so excited. I've never done like a Valentine's Day look. We're getting into it. We are transforming. We got the hair, makeup, outfit. But before we get into it, I need to share with you guys the new jewelry pieces that are going to be the star of the freaking outfit tonight. Come on, you can't go anywhere without some good jewelry. So let me put you guys on to Anna Luisa. These jewelry pieces unmatch. Beautiful. I'm actually wearing these ones from them right now. They are so freaking cute. They're just little dainty, tiny, but stunning little hoops. They have like two connecting hoops and the one has diamonds on it. I'm not gonna lie, I feel rich. Their jewelry pieces are just phenomenal. They are carbon friendly, climate neutral certified. They're good for the environment and they're good for this all, let me tell you. But of course, sometimes you receive something and you're like, mm, this is not it, which is okay. Because Ana Luisa, if you're in the US, they will allow you to do like free returns and the best thing about it is all the return jewelry gets donated which makes my heart happy and like that's a, just it's just such a beautiful thing all of their designs are affordable but they bring luxury and i'm so excited to share the pieces that i picked out you know me i love jewelry i cannot go anywhere the gym the grocery store going out i cannot go anywhere without my jewelry and i'm so excited for these new pieces because they are the moment it's like a two-in-one you get a little carrier case so if you're traveling like how freaking cute i always keep these in my purse they're the perfect little compartment to have if you want to take your earrings out but you don't want to just throw them in your purse especially necklaces oh my god these come in clutch i absolutely love them i'm so excited i haven't even taken them out of the packaging yet because i wanted to open them up with you in like real time <gasps> First and foremost, we got a beautiful little bracelet. I'm actually gonna put this on like right now because I would just, I just wanna feel bougie today. Stunning, just a very dainty pearl bracelet. I love my jewelry to be very dainty, elegant. Tell me that isn't the cutest little bracelet ever on a beautiful fresh tan. I love her. Next, I got this gorgeous necklace. As you can tell, I love me a little a little bling moment. They truly kill it when it comes to all different vibes of jewelry. I guarantee you can find something that you like on their website. And did I mention that they have international shipping? So you can get it wherever you are. Putting a necklace on be like, <laughs> That's so pretty. I just love having jewelry on. I feel like even when I'm not completely ready, I just feel so cute and elegant and girly. Last piece that I'm going to wait to put on because I know they're just gonna make my outfit. These are a one of a kind. One of a kind, I'm absolutely obsessed. Look how freaking cool these earrings are. They have like a different texture on the bottom. It's like that rope looking. Oh my God, these are so freaking cute. I'll have everything linked down below in my description. So make sure you go check that out to purchase some Valentine's Day gifts or honestly, just treat yourself. I'm giving you the validation to just bedazzle your body in some beautiful jewelry. I just feel like a pretty little princess. So with that being said, let's get right into the get ready with me. We are gonna start with the hair because this takes the most time. I mean, not really, but it's a little bit tedious. I'm gonna try doing some rollers today. This has been like my new current obsession just trying to get really good at them for hair care i always try keeping it very simple plain jane because i don't really i don't like too many products i feel like they just weigh down my hair so i always start with the little leave-in conditioner i just realized i wanted to use this leave-in conditioner this is the prep and rally this has a heat protectant in it every time my hair is wet and i plan on styling it i'll use this one it's from dry bar and this protects your hair up to 450 degrees. So I'm actually gonna use this one as well, I guess. For a little hair oil, I'm gonna go in with the Ulaplex number no. seven bonding oil. Just a little bit at the ends to make sure there's no split ends. We look hydrated and healthy. We are going to section off the hair. It's really hard because I have hair extensions, but pretty much do like two sections for the bottom layer, the top layer. No, I pretty much do three sections actually. My bottom layer, top layer, and then my curtain bangs are like its own moment. I'm gonna be using my dry bar brush. I absolutely love this thing. It makes hair styling very easy. I call this like the tool for dummies. If you don't know how to, you know, do a blowout look, 
one of these are amazing. This is probably the best one I've tried. It is a little bit more on the pricier side, but I will say if you want to really get into styling your hair and you're lazy, this got your back, okay? So when it comes to the rollers, these aren't anything crazy. Like I literally got these from CVS. We have the biggest size, medium, and then it honestly just gets smaller. I never really use these two. I don't know, they don't work with my hair. Really only use these three sizes. For the bottom layer, I always start with the biggest size just because I like getting this done and over with real quick. So I'll take bigger sections, AKA needing a bigger roller. What I will do is go in with the dry bar first. Basically just roll it out. It is going to heat it up. So then when I put this in the little roller, it's going to just hold and basically like cool down in the roller. So that's how you get like the long lasting voluminous hair. Yeah, that's pretty much all I do. I just go right through it. And then at the bottoms, I'll just continue to roll it to really get that swooshy look. And I kind of go in, I'll go through the piece maybe about like three times. It just kind of depends on. as soon as I cook through it see like it has a little swooshy action to it but nothing crazy so that's why the rollers come in play and kind of run it through the hair to smooth everything out I always start at the bottom and then I'll just roll my way up So, and as I'm rolling I'm kind of pulling so that it gets super super tight and then I'll roll all the way up oh sometimes I gotta start over and that's okay oh okay starting over for a third time fourth time from here you just bobby pin it all right just like so it doesn't have to be perfect honestly if you're looking for perfection when it comes to this hairstyle good luck i have just remembered that i usually do a rough blow dry before i put the hot tool on my hair i messed up like you're supposed to go in with your hair 80% dry and I forgot to do that. All right, so same thing, start at the bottom and as you are rolling, you're gonna wanna pull so it gets super tight. Roll this bad boy up. See, if I had clips, this would be 10 times easier, but I only have bobby pins. First layer is done. This is what it looks like. It's usually not that hard, but when it comes to like sectioning off your hair, Sometimes like a piece that you pulled is like still in here. So it like pulls out of your head and it, um, it's a lot. as long as the curtain bangs look good, it doesn't matter about the rest. Okay, I actually did just go to my bathroom and blow dry my hair really quick because this section was really wet. And like I said, I, I always do a rough dry before I go in with this. Don't do that. Do not use this unless your hair is like halfway dry, halfway damp, like 80% mm, damp. You know, no, 80% 80 dry. So I messed up on that one. Just wanna let you guys know, this is a styling tool, not a blow dryer. So don't use this on your wet hair. For these pieces, as you could see, I was going under and over to give some volume. Thought I kinda knew what I was doing when it comes to the rollers. But I really don't start and hope for the best, you know? It's like one of those things. I'm like, this better look good. It's like a damn workout. Alrighty. <laughs> this is the last section. Do the bigger roller in the back. Uh-huh, just like so. This piece is a little straggler. Just gonna throw her up there. Oh, all right, I'm not gonna lie, that took a lot longer than I thought because like I said, I have to pin these up with bobby pins. I do not recommend that at all. It gets me very frustrated because they don't stay. <laughs> I don't put them in any specific way. I just kinda roll them up and I feel like the messier, the better. <sighs> but anyways, I'm so over the hair by now. We're diving into the makeup. I feel like it's time to have ourselves a little drink. Poppy soda, the best. This is the strawberry lemon. It's so good. 
whenever I'm craving a soda and I have these, I'm like, this makes me, this makes me feel happier. Does it fit? Does it? Oh, it's like a healthy soda. Jeez. All right. I did in fact do my brows off camera. I didn't do anything crazy to them. Just kind of flicked them up and filled in the sparse areas. Look how cool this freaking brow brush is. It's from ColourPop. I just used their brow pencil and their brow gel for the first time. Really nice. I really like it. And this spoolie is so nice. What I am going to show you guys is the magical little pen. The highbrow by Benefit just to highlight underneath. Carve them out a little bit. It just makes them look lifted and bright. And then just taking an angled brush and blending her out. Like look. She blends so easily. A little tap tap with the finger. Okay, now for the part that I've been waiting for. We're going to do a little pink liner moment because I feel like that would be really cute for Valentine's Day. And if it doesn't work out, well, that's why I do my eyes first. You know, we can always start over. But I am gonna take some tape just to make the process a little bit easier for me. And I like lining them up so they're going out and up. Just gonna pop on some concealer to prime the eyelids first. This is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Concealer. I'm gonna take a little brush and blend that out. Just gonna set that with some translucent powder. Today, we're gonna be using the Morphe Petal Passion Palette. Look how gorgeous, like, OMG. It's absolutely stunning. Is this too dark for the crease? Let me, before I get too ahead of myself and mess up this look. <laughs> I'm gonna actually just pop in a little bronzer to the crease just to create some dimension. And having the tape there allows you to just get a little sloppy, if I'm being honest, because, I mean, who wants to be careful when putting on eyeshadow? This is the Mario bronzer. You can honestly just use any bronzer in the crease. I'm gonna use this brown that's in the palette. It's a little bit more so on like the red side of a brown, and I really like that. So I'm gonna just add that to the outer parts of my eye. Oh God, I'm nervous. Just a little bit, just a little bit right here. And then before completely blending that out, take that first brush that you used and mix that in with the crease. It just deepens it up a little bit with a little red kiss. Okay. Wowza. See, now I'm getting stuck. Do I do a pink liner or do I do a brown liner and maybe like a little, a light pink in the corner? Maybe, I don't know. So I don't know, this might be a bad idea, but I'm gonna take this pink and this pink, they're like lighter, dusty roses. And I'm gonna put this on the lid. This is my definition of like a crazy eyeshadow look. I, yeah, I think I'm gonna do the brown liner. I also love the names of these shadows. Like those two colors that I used was her and go to. This one's I'm busy, her, say no more, go to, it's you, big apple, Dream it, love and lust. Oh, hey, bouquet. <laughs> I love those names. It's like a cute little dusty rose situation. I like it. Very, very cute. Very neutral, simple, yet a pop of color, which I like. And then maybe we can do like a bold lip. Now we're getting creative. All right, this is where I'm so thankful for the tape because I'm gonna do a little wing liner. This is the Surf Proof Easy Glider Eye Definer by Cali Ray, and I really like it. It literally does exactly what it says. It just glides on and makes it so easy. And since we have the tape, we're not gonna struggle here. Or maybe, should I do a little smudge moment? I'm just like making this look up as I go. That's the fun of makeup. I'm gonna take a little tiny pencil smudger and just basically smudge that liner because I did not draw a perfect line, which is okay. I'm actually gonna go back in to this color that we used, get up on the same brush that I was smudging with and kind of smudge this over that brown liner. So everything looks monochromatic. Moment of truth to see if we actually killed it. What do we think? Ah, I really like it. Like always, I take my concealer and carve it out. I'll show you, but it's giving me, what's that candy that's like chocolate and then there's pink in the center? You know what I'm talking about? If you know, you know. But it's giving me those vibes, like chocolate, strawberry. I think it's cute. I always, I can't do anything crazy, okay? I cannot get out of my comfort zone and do anything crazy. Like, it just scares me. All right, we are starting strong with the one, the only e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. Of course, a girl's going out tonight and I need this makeup to last. So have no fear, e.l.f. is here. 
<laughs> Guajina. Beautiful. These hair rollers are getting a little crazy. Being a bad bitch ain't easy. I said it. <laughs> and look at this. If you watch my last weekly vlog, I opened up the PR package from Miss Fenty. And they sent over a beauty blender that's in the shape of a football. And look how big this is. Pretty much the size of my freaking palm. It's huge and I'm so excited to use it today because it is Super Bowl weekend. I was excited. I really only care about her performance if I'm being honest, but nonetheless, I'm excited. I'm actually gonna go in with the Say Super Glow Gel as a little under glow primer. So I truly wanna look like a bronzed goddess by the end of this makeup. Look at the, <laughs> it obviously is a dark color. This is in the shade Sun Glow, so it's on the bronzy side. It's not supposed to be like, I mean, you could wear it alone. With my redness, it kind of looks crazy. And I know that, <laughs> but it is giving a beautiful glow. I just seen somebody use this and I was like, wait, I have that. Let me try that. I'm not gonna lie, I'm torn today. Do I go with Mario or Giorgio? <laughs> no, seriously, I don't know which one I should go with because this one's a beautiful glowy foundation. And this one's just like, airbrush flawless. Maybe we'll do this one because I used this in my last tutorial. We're gonna do Giorgio Mani today. I also like low-key treasure this so much that I truly only use it on like special occasions. Oh, I don't know. I love you so much, but I love you so much. Picking out makeup for the day is so hard. I'm, we're gonna do this one because I don't think I've ever shown you guys this one. It is a newer product in my collection and I truly love it. Taking Fenty Sponge. It literally is a football. How cool. But we're gonna just dabble her on and just watch the skin transform, okay? Like in two seconds, the redness is gone. The dark spots are covered. Perfection, like look at this side. <laughs> Perfect. And mind you, this is where I have all my dark spots. And then look at this side, just splotchy and red. You seen it here first, I love this. This sponge is also perfect. I love the shape of it and it's very soft, very bouncy on the skin. I cannot wait for the Super Bowl. It's gonna be a fun little weekend. If you aren't already, make sure you subscribe because I started my weekly vlogs again. So of course I will be vlogging the entire Super Bowl experience from my end, if you care to watch. Okay, this is glowing. Glowing. I'm so glad I used the sun glow drops underneath. Fenty sent me over a matchstick. I already had the shade Truffle. Love this shade. And they sent me over Swedish, Swedish, Swedish. Oh God, I'm probably definitely butchering that. And I don't know, this one definitely has like a cool undertone and this one's definitely like bronzer. I don't know which one I want to use. <laughs> they look very similar, like very similar. This one obviously just has a cooler undertone. Here, this is what we'll do. This is what we shall do. We're gonna mix them. Then take my little brush, just pick up a little bit, tap some on the back of my hand because my hand's my makeup palette. Start dabbing that on nothing crazy i just want to create like a tiny shadow i don't know it's a good cool tone but it also has a warmth to it it's given the best of both worlds i'm gonna get the jawline I'm gonna take truffle on top of that and whoa 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 there it honestly goes on looking like doo-doo <laughs> but it blends out looking really pretty. Okay, now for concealer. This is where I'm gonna stick to what I know and what I love because there's nothing better than the Hourglass Concealer, in my opinion, in my opinion, okay? But do a little bit underneath, right underneath the wing so we can carve it out. Boom, the chinny chin chin chin, <laughs> the forehead and shit. A little bit underneath the contour and you know the drill. We let this sit for literally like five minutes. I'm not even gonna lie, like five minutes. I know it's crazy, but I just just trust me. Try it out and trust the process. Favorite most worst, worst. <laughs> what was that energy? The Morphe V105. We're going to stamp this right in the inner corner and just keep that product exactly where we applied it. Bring it up the nose a little bit. I kind of do like reverse contouring with the nose. If you like bring the concealer in, it like gives it a little bit of a highlight. And then on the side, we're gonna clean up that wing and just lift it. Oh, you see what I mean? You see what I fucking mean? I just got energy out of nowhere. You take your sponge and then you blend it out. And it truly gives you the most snatched under eye. 
I'm telling you, this brush is like one of my absolute favorites. I have all my brushes that I love linked together. I started making like little um, blog looking uh, posts about like my favorite products because I love putting them all together and seeing how it looks because I don't know it just reminds me of like a little blog I have a highlight on my Instagram story of my all my favorites but of course I'll have it directly linked down below in this video and snatch the eyeshadow mm -hmm. and then clean it all up blend it all together forehead too this is perfect because look it just gets right in without touching the brow hairs and then you can kind of clean above too sometimes it's hard to get the foundation right above your brows so this brush is just like perfect like this is the part where i'm like yes <laughs> yes bitch now we're gonna do some blush honestly i have so many cream blushes but this is just the one that i always gravitate towards like if i had to throw out all of them and only have this one left i'd be fine this is rare beauty melting blush okay in the shade nearly mauve and this is just gonna match the eyeshadow perfectly actually and i like blending this out with a sponge i feel like a brush just doesn't do it like i'm sorry i can't answer the phone right now i'm too busy being hot <laughs> it's valentine's day weekend i'm so excited i'm actually going to add some highlight and i want it to be popping i want it to be booming i want it to be in your face so we're gonna go in with like iconic london gonna put some on the back of my hand this is powerful okay a little bit goes a long way i feel like i had this for like five years a little dot there a little dot there a little dot on the nose and then we're gonna blend this hoe out mm -hmm. like this is a highlight you do not want to mess with i don't really know how to play around with my camera settings but i want the colors to pick up how they are in person so i'm sorry if i just made the lighting worse <laughs> i probably did and honestly i'm gonna add a little bit just a tiny bit more a blush tiny bit hourglass powder a little fluffy brush i take the tiniest bit like there's barely anything on the brush and just lightly set underneath the eye we're gonna do like a finishing powder later but this is just to keep that concealer where it's at without creasing we're gonna add some mac give me sun because like i said i want to look like a glowing bronzed goddess so that's what we're gonna do i'm actually gonna take this on a fluffy brush fluffy brush and just dabble this on the cheeks oh my god it's so pretty mac give me sun does it every time every time so now for a step that i don't think i can live without now we're gonna take miss fenty powder this is in the shade 170 i'm gonna take like a tapered brush something you can stipple with take the powder a good amount set right here i don't know about you but right here on the cheek i feel like my foundation does not last like i have a lot of redness so this is just going to one clean up the bronzer too but it's also just going to add a little bit more coverage make everything match i love this powder it's so nice it's a beautiful soft matte finish and it just makes everything come together but just right underneath the cheeks because i never can get my foundation to stay there i think it's because i'm always like this like this so, so this just makes sure it's really set into place i cleaned my brushes and look how gorgeous this is and i'm about to stain it again with the same blush that i use literally every single day it's just so pretty it's the perfect peachy pink it's nars amore powder blush it's so pretty i love it and we're gonna just tap the cheeks with this it brings everything together i go ham i even tap the forehead with it the chin a little bit on the nose she's gorgeous and i love it love it 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 it is about that time that we go in with iconic london setting spray add some beautiful glow into the skin we did just put on some powder so now we're gonna marry it all together this is my new obsession. I'm in love. Like, I'm in love. Just wait, 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 wait. Fenty Kilowatt Highlighter. We have Hustler Baby. Mean Money. And let me tell you, it, it's so bomb. I don't know what this is for. Like, I wish this whole thing was just this color. But this, I don't know. Mixing them together is good. I guess. I don't know. And hit it. Get the nose. Get the cheeks, honey. It just speaks for itself. It truly is one of those products that like just speaks for itself and looks bomb.com. Not a powder that's going to make you look powdery or gray. Now I'm going to take my Charlotte Tilbury and a little powder puff. This powder has never done me wrong. We love her. 
and then set right underneath you make everything look a little bit more matte like do you see the difference it just like gives it a soft focus effect and it truly locks the concealer in for all they wear i'm gonna take another setting spray to really make sure everything's locked in in place this is the all nighter by urban decay the vitamin c one with cactus flower water said that bitch and while that's drying i'm gonna pop on some lashes lashes are on these are from Veloa in the style soul mate i just chopped them like in half put them on the outer corner to give a little mm. like, i want to do a bold lip but should i do a red lip okay let's do it i just i don't know i like red lips on me but it's a lot it's a lot and i am going out tonight this is oh shoot i always get so confused on how this works but it's like a little travel case and you can switch out the colors we're gonna line them first this is milani's true instant color in the shade true red we're gonna line them oh my god i hope this does not look bad <laughs> oh god okay <laughs> I feel like a red lip is always a power move. It's Valentine's Day, so we have to do it. AKA why I'm wearing red today. Minty lipstick in the shade Danger Dancer. I'm excited. Wow. That is, I'm glad I did it. I'm glad I did it. I'm glad I did it. It doesn't even matter what the eyeshadow looks like because wow. It's creamy as shit. Can we have a moment for the lips? This looks good. And it's making my teeth look like hella white. Probably one of my favorite lip glosses ever. The Fenty Gloss Balm Heats in the shade Lemon Lava. Just look at the lips. Oh, yes, bitch. That was like really close up and personal, but oh, wow. That is the makeup. That is the look. I'm feeling it let's do this i always start with the bottom layer first and do like a little twist and pull and then i'll just let it sit and pull oh there's a bobby pin stuck somewhere oh Ooh. okay cool oh shoot see it's not all perfect a little twist and pull oh wow that one looks real good too <laughs> look at that one coming along all right this is the hair so far all right now for the most important pieces okay 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 i did not come to play today it's always like a jump scare as soon as they come down it actually looks good okay period are you guys ready to see the outfit for tonight well it's more so just a dress like it's literally just a dress but it's stunning and i'm so excited here she is in all of her glory it's a beautiful satin white dress i haven't even like tried it on if i'm being completely honest this is from Hurris, Hurris beverly hills oh my god like you'll get the full effect once it's on but i'm so excited it's satin it's white it's giving me where's my ring I want to become a wife. No, just kidding. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hype me up. This dress is snatching me in all the right places. Look at the slit. Look at the slit. I didn't even take the tags off yet because I was like, we can do this together. Like, she's not a return. She's a keep in the closet forever. Oh, my God. This is, like, so sexy yet modest. Eh, what'd you say modest? I don't know. But this is, oh my god, it's like a little corset, strapless. This is when I wish I had like boobs, you know, to like give me cleavage, but I don't, but that's okay. And then a little slit. Keep in. Oh god. Oh god. I can't see what I'm cutting. Oh, we did it. I didn't think about this. I don't have shoes. Could you imagine if I wore a cheetah heel? No, no, that would not look right. Would it? No, there's no way. But not the energy I want to give. It's giving Snooky. I'm kind of thinking a tall boot. Could I be wrong? This could be cute or really ugly. And I'm just like making it work because I don't have any other. Oh, oh. Like is a tall boot cute or no? Wait. 
Okay, hear me out. This might be cute. A little leather moment. I don't know, it's kind of different. Like, I know this isn't ideal, but I don't have just like regular pumps. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know if I like it. Or is it like too much? It kind of looks cool. I'm gonna just try the black regular pumps because maybe that's more so gonna be better. Oh, I wish this was like live so you could tell me. The basic, oh my God, not dust being in my heel. I wish I had a nude pump. I wish I had a nude pump. Like, I don't like the pump. Mm -mm. These aren't cute. This ain't it. Does this look stupid? Yes or no? <laughs> I genuinely don't know what shoes I would wear with this or what I should wear with this. At least the hair and the makeup look good and the dress is fire. I'm just like stuck on what shoes to wear. I don't really have anything else. That's okay. Either way, we have one final step. Adding these earrings. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. They're very different from like what I normally wear too, which is why I like them so much. Truly one of those jewelry brands that you just see everywhere and you're like, oh my God, I want everything that you have on your website. I mean, miss. The jewelry is jewelry. <sighs> All right, well, that is honestly gonna wrap up my Valentine's Day get ready with me. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what shoes you would wear with this dress because a girl is stuck, but how gorgeous. Everything that I used today will be linked down below as always. So if you're interested, definitely go check that out. And don't forget to check out Ana Luisa. Like I said, their jewelry is phenomenal. Just look how gorgeous and they feel like luxury. But I'll also have their link down below so you can shop all of their pieces so you can spoil somebody this Valentine's Day or simply just spoil yourself. They are having a Valentine's Day buy one, get one 50% off. And I'll see you all in my next video. Happy Valentine's Day. I love you guys so so much you guys will always be my true valentine even if you're not spending valentine's day with a loved one your girlfriend your boyfriend whoever just know you're always loved and you don't need a stupid little holiday to spoil yourself love ya bye yeah i know i look good yeah i look fly